Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me. Welcome back to Pathologic 2, where we are now free to walk around among the streets. So, And also guys, if you didn't know, I do play ahead so that I can give you guys the best experience possible in this playthrough. So if, you, if, you're, not, if you're wondering why it seems like I know things, it's because I do. So, okay, right off the bat guys, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to be uh, eating some toast. Because that's going to get my hunger a little bit better. Um, I'm thirsty now. But let's go up over here, and let's walk to the right, and let's go talk to this guy over here. I don't know if these guys are my, yeah, these are just tool tips, I mean game tips, or if it's my conscience or what it is, but sometimes I think it's a little of both. The thirst keeps driving down toward my death. Don't be foolish. I'm the one dying of thirst. Indeed, see me acting out your fate, dear fool. Help, someone help. This thirst is soon to kill me. Keep it up. I want to know how this ends. You die, my friend, that's how it ends. Water is all around, though puddles make poor drinks. Sip them, sip then from fountain spouts, from barrel bungs. A bottle is all you need. Here, have one. Thanks for the bottle, foolish man. And he gives me a bottle, so we're going to go over here. And I think there might be another bottle over here. Because I think there's another mime over here. No, he didn't show up yet. I guess I have to wait till he, uh, till I fill this up. Okay. I had two bottles, because I had an extra one. We're going to drink water, too. All right. And, you know, for people who reviewed this game early on, and I won't name the company by name, but they, they said this game was terrible, It's and it was too hard. It's not terrible, and it's not too hard. You just have to get used to the mechanics. I swear to God, this is an easy game. All right, so, any, so let's talk to this lady. Seems the Barak prophecy is true, huh? Each Barak will spill a river of blood or drown in the town in blood, maybe. The, worrying, the wording varies. So it goes. So much death. You mean Isidore? That's my father. Of course. He may not have spilled it himself, but it's all happening because of him, just as the prophecy foretold. Bull, it's old wives' tales. And then we're going to go ahead and see what she has to trade. All right, she's got safety pin, and she's got needles. How many needles? I've got four needles on me. Oh, wait, no, she wants either a tourniquet, a bandage, or an uh, immunity booster. Um, okay, I'm going to show you something. Let me see, what, what, how's my immunity right now, real quick? All right, it's not so bad. All right, we can go ahead. We're going to trade. We're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to trade her immunity booster, which is four, and the safety pin. Oh, safety pin's five. No, never mind. We're not going to trade it. I was going to show you how you can up your, your reputation with the people. Because if you, when, every time you talk to them, your reputation will go up. Can I talk to him? No. I can trade with him, though. So every time you have a conversation with people, your, your reputation in the area will go up. Every time that you trade, them, trade with them and you give them more than they ask for, your reputation will go up. Every time you like pick a lock and, and you're not allowed in a place, your reputation goes down. Every time you hurt somebody, your reputation goes down. So you can actually raise your reputation quite a bit in an area. Just by, just by talking with people and trading with them and giving them more than they asked for. Oh, here he is. And see, this guy showed up now. Is this your money, sir? I think you dropped your purse. Of course it is. Thank you so much for giving it back. Save money, sir. You'll need it yet. You sure about that? Should you res restore your reputation, sir, would you then wish to seek to ruin a new with theft and robbery? No, of course you wouldn't. But trust in trade, for coins cannot recall from whence they came. Indeed, they are a man's best friend. All right, so he gave us some money. I don't know how much money he gave me, but it was quite a bit, actually. So, and these two, these tooltips, they show up, they're timed, so they show up no matter what. If I go in that direction, then this guy would have shown up over there. If I'd have gone in that direction, he would have showed up over there. So he would have showed up in front of me at, at certain intervals so, and for different things. So, that if I, so it doesn't really matter which way you go. But we do want to go. We need to go over here. and We need to talk to the high and mighty of the town. The witch hunters over. I can go out safely. So what I'm going to do, I think, I could walk it, but we don't have a whole lot of time. I think I'm going to go to this boat, man. We're going to use it to get to this boat here, I think. Or maybe we'll go to this boat. Now we'll go to this boat, and then we'll drop down. That's what we'll do. Okay. What you got for trade? Fish and a fingernail? Uh, you know what? I will trade that fingernail for this if I can. I can't. Oh, I only have one match. We'll trade one needle for that. 
That's an extra. That's an extra uh, taxi cab. So I'm cool with that. Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. See my reputation went up in the top right hand side. See, it says the air, the green arrow going up. It means because I gave him extra. So now in the flank, my reputation has gone up a little bit. So no one cares about me. I I haven't got it yet to where people actually like me, but I I, I want that to happen eventually. Okay, let's talk to her. Everyone's losing their minds. Hell, they'll start looking for ghosts or boogeymen soon. Shabnaks don't exist. It's just a damn twire blooming, making our heads swim. Anything is possible. I've met people who looked only human on the outside. Deep down, they were vile beasts. All right, what you got? See, it went up again. This is meat. That's a thimble. You want five for the thimble, eight for the meat, three for the needle. And three for the immunity immunity booster. I'm gonna trade her the needle for the immunity booster. I think. Okay. What's up, kid? Immunity, immunity booster. Uh, morphine is six. How much is the spring? Three. Yeah, I don't have enough. How about you? This bullet. I'm gonna need bullets eventually, but they're 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 everywhere. So there's a lot, a lot of traders that have bullets. So, as soon as I can afford the three thousand for the gun, I'm gonna get it. Hey there, Mr. Man, Mr. Boatman, how you doing? Let's go ahead and head over right here, right here. Travel by boat, the gut. No one cares about you. I like the way this guy looks. Looks like he's a cartoon. Uh, okay, we're gonna head right here. So let's go. Actually, I don't really need to do that, but. All right, we got to go that way. Actually, it's got to talk to us. Anytime I can talk to somebody, I'm going to. I'd like to trade with you for my conscience sake, but no one will trade with thieves or murderers. Barter is about trust. I'm neither a thief or a murderer, pal. You do well to remember that. Barter is a sacred tradition. You understand this is not about objects at all, do you? Don't you? Not about objects. Would you like to trade your coat for a match then? I might have accepted that offer, but I won't trade with a man who has a burdened conscience. Why poison my own fate? Don't worry, you won't. You're weird. Your fate won't improve my life, only my own trust. Get it? When I trust someone, I get lucky, so good things come my way. Trust is about forgiving your enemies and seeing the good in them. All right, so it went up a little bit. And now he will trade, me, trade with me, see? But I only have a match. He didn't want anything else, so... Go this way. Go around here. What you got? A bandage? I think you cost that costs four, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't I don't it's too much. Okay. This is where we need to be. This is the, where the big man lives. This guy this is the boss of the town. Look at him looking all high and mighty. Big Vlad. What have I done to be punished with children like these? That familiar old face. You know, I remember what your esteemed father looked like when he was young. I am, after all, only 15 years younger. He was a very decent person. He had a real spine. I'm honored. Welcome home, dear boy. Welcome home. The reception was rather lukewarm, though, wasn't it? It was. I'm getting reports you're a villain, my boy, a murderous villain. My people are upset they couldn't do you in. They're an ugly mob, aren't they? So small-minded, animals, beasts, swine. At least you slipped away. Perhaps I should stand up for you? He's a, he's, you know, he owns the entire town, so we're going to be nice to him. That would be useful, can you really? My power is immense, boy. Have you forgotten? Everything you see here is mine. The whole bull enterprise, the abattoir, the factory, the warehouses, the station. The town's veins are my reins. It's meat and bones my throne. I am the master, and I expect to be obeyed. I haven't forgotten, believe me, and I'm not the only one who remembers. At least take my advice. I'm always eager to help Isidore's son. Stay here a while. Don't go out. My house is big, plenty of space. If you need anything, just call the servants. Thanks, I'll consider it. All right, now, it actually opened up. 
and Bones. These are all the people I can stay with. I can stay with Bad Grief. I can stay with Laura and Big Blood. These are my friends. Now, Nerves are the people I'm not unsure about. The Bachelor I'm unsure about. The Changeling I'm unsure about. Not Ken and Sticky. All these guys I'm not, I'm not really sure about. And then Blood is who's died. So uh, my dad, Isidore, he's dead. So that's, I think this is how it works. I'm not really sure because I, I, I'm... They're unclear on this, so I'm just going by what, I, what I'm seeing. All right, we can talk to him again. It's clear. There's no water beneath the town. Perhaps my child is not such a fool. Kindred blood and all. Stop bringing it around, my boy. No need for you to leave. I won't chain you up, but believe me, out there, you'll just make a mess. Where's my father? I need to see his body. Well, he might have been put in the ground already. Your people never linger with, on the rites of death. They bury the deceased immediately, like a seed, yes? And if you take too long, the seed won't sprout. And where do they bury my people these days? In the new cemetery? There's no such thing as your people anymore. Yours, ours, we're all just people. What's past is past, and we're all buried together. So your rights are, are, di your rights are still different, though. Your kind must be buried in the morning, yes? Yes. Listen, are you planning to avenge your father? Well, I need to find the murderer first. That's not your job. What do you, what do you mean? Cain is eager to condemn someone. Sabarov to execute. I, however, I'll make sure we find the right person. Yes, the right one. The right one who killed him. That's not that hard. You're probably off to a pub now to drink to your father's memory. A, twi a, a twirine poison flows wide in the broken heart. Stemain runs a good business while I allow it. A pub, perhaps. Beats staying here. Okay, so we're now it's saying that we can actually go and drink to our father's uh, memory. And it, it something popped up on the map, so. Town Hall is no longer looking for me. Um, so this funny dog-eared kid at the station, what, what was he looking, what was he doing there? Still haven't figured that out. Town. There's another thing about the town hall here. I can I can finish this. We only have so much time before the uh, before the day day runs out though. So we gotta be we gotta be super quick. Uh, what's this? Oh, father's funeral will take place tomorrow at dawn. I hardly have I'll hardly have a chance to pay respects to him until then. So, all right. So let's go. All right. On the map it says I can drink to my father's memory and the broken heart. We also need to stop by and, and talk with talk with our friend about that shiv we took out a couple episodes ago. Or was it last episode? Oh, here we go. Now there's water right here. We're going to drink this water. Anytime you can drink water, you want to drink water. All right, so... She has marbles for sale. You know, I don't I I don't really want to get rid of my bandage or my tourniquet. Although, you know, I could get rid of one of them. Nah. How much is a tourniquet worth? 4. All right, we'll do that. We're going to buy this marble from her cuz that'll get up our reputation a little bit. Let's do that. And the kids will will buy the marbles from me, so. What you got, man? Oh, you know what? I'll trade these hazelnuts for this spring. Once again, it's about trading with the kids sometimes. Oh, these are the three guys we killed. I can't do anything with their bodies, otherwise I get in trouble, so we're not going to do that. I actually went the wrong way. We can go this way. Up and over this bridge. The warehouse. Only rats live here. I kind of like the way they do this on the mini map. On the map. All right, we're back. Is her old friend? And Vlad stays quiet. 
has his finger in the pie, I'm sure. Let us rest on the mountain, or let us lay rest by the river. That's the song your people sing when times are hard, isn't it? How's peace work? I assume he kicked the bucket? No, I patched him up. Yay, you didn't mess around in school, huh? And the hell was stuck. Let him sulk. He'll, he'll only make it worse for himself. So what's the plan now? The plan is to live, live and breathe, thieve and leave. What did you find inside of peace work? I'm just curious. This. Your men are fond of shivs, huh? Even an incendiary bullet would be less cruel. Well, that's people for you. I've been wondering what our kind townsfolk fashion these little barbs from. I see, I see. This explains who broke into the warehouse eight last week. The thread unravels. I'll make a note of this. If you find more shivs, bring them to me. Don't give them to the kids, even if they offer bullets. I know I've been offered a good deal. Okay, so we can actually trade with him now, and he has shivs. He has a pit lock picks, guys. So we can actually come back, and he has a knife. So we can actually come back and uh, and buy lock picks from him. I have two. I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to sell him the scalpel. This one has like a low durability. This one has a fairly high durability, so we're going to get rid of that one just to open up some inventory space. And I'm going to sell him that knife, too. That's going to give me 224 coin. So let's do that. It's going to open up my inventory space quite a bit. And let's see here. I'm going to start moving some stuff around in my inventory right quick. All right. That'll do for now. So we can get locked. Oh, who's this? Var, huh? So you're a trained surgeon? Good. This is good. Shame that your esteemed degree is no help to me. What do you need, Gramps? How do I put it? I have a certain need, but now that the old Barak is dead, no one can help me out, including his son. Don't even offer. Why can't I help? The kin has not accepted you yet. You're a Barak's son, but sharing blood is not enough. Supposedly, you're a Menku by birth, but in truth, you aren't. You went away to study who knows where, leaving your people behind. Old folk don't appreciate that. Will the kin accept you at all? A Menku, what does this word even mean? I'm not a step man, but I do know among your lot, only Menkus can become butchers, wise men, or surgeons. Because they know the lines. Is that what you call it? The art of understanding the world? The lines? Yes, the lines. And that's why you and I have nothing to talk about yet. You may know how to wield a scalpel, but you know nothing about the lines. And in this town, no one would trust you to cut a body before you comprehend the world design, so you can't help me out. Who are you, anyway? I am Var. I have a business. An unusual one. Your father used to deliver certain goods to me. Now I came back to ask, ask bad grief. He's a bandit, after all. A law unto himself, but it turns out he's too little delivered to cross this particular boundary. You must be asking Ron, then. I've, I've known Bad Grief since we were kids. There is no boundary he wouldn't jump over, so talk to him, not me. I think this guy's looking for body parts, actually. Now that I read that properly, I, I breezed through this before. I think maybe he's looking for body parts. Because he, he needs a surgeon, and but he doesn't trust me yet. So, all right, we'll leave. Okay, so we're going to go over here, I think. Let's see. Okay, we're going to go over here, and we're going to check out the shop then I think we're gonna drop down and we're gonna maybe look at talk to the kids and then we're gonna go have a drink this shop right here you can buy no matter what you how bad your reputation is you're actually gonna be able to buy things here I think it's just food I'm pretty sure it's just food. it might change actually I don't know yeah right now it's just food and I don't have a ton of money. I have food, so I'm not that worried about it. So we're not going to get it, but I thought I'd show that to you guys. I could have bought peanuts or, or chestnuts but for the kids, but I'm not going to do that. I don't want to waste my money. I want that gun. So All right, let's drop down here. Is it across? I think it's across here. There it is. All right. Okay, let's see if the kids have anything I want I want to buy. He's got needles and a bullet. All I have is my rusty scalpel. I need that scalpel. Now, this one has I've got a marble which is worth 4. They want 20 for the shoes, 18 for the gloves, 
and four for a needle. I don't need the needle. So we're not gonna we don't we're not gonna trade with these kids. They don't have anything I need. I mean I wouldn't mind a pair of boots. I got a pair of gloves right now, but I wouldn't I wouldn't mind a, a pair of boots, but am I really super hungry now? I am. Let's eat that fish. And we should have some water around here somewhere. Well, we can wait to drink for a second. Actually, you know what? I've got water on me. We'll just drink that. There we go. And I can go the other way. Okay. We gotta pass the ferryman, and then into this other district so that we can we can go to the bar. The bar is kind of an important thing. I wouldn't pass up on this if I were you. Because the guy, the bartender, buys herbs if you want to make a lot of money really fast. There we go. There's the water. Refill my bottle. And then I got to go around the other side of the building. Is there anything in here? No. I already looted all those. All right. Here's the entrance to the bar. It's way the heck down in the basement, dude. All right, let's see. I think these two and the bartender are the only ones I can talk to. Yeah, this is the bar owner. Man's nerves can only take so much. Ha, what a face, a loser's face. Appearances and everything. The rabble is out of control. At least they looked human before. Did you hear about the stabbings? There's people out there with knives in the streets right now, brother. Yeah, at first I didn't believe my own eyes. I was the one that did the stabbings. I mean, I'm quite an artist with a knife myself, but that's different. Everyone knows I obey no law. These people, they're no wholesome fear. there's no wholesome fear left in them. Kniving is taboo around here. That's why I love this town. But you know the tricks of the trade, don't you? I can tell by your hands. I'm a surgeon. It's part of my job. You're a dangerous man. I'm a dangerous man, too. We can reach an understanding if you behave yourself in my establishment. All these people with knives, are they trying to avenge Barak? I don't even care. If they come here, they will regret it. He who lives by the knife dies by the knife. Such people are outlaws. Killing them incurs no punishment, only gratitude. Judge Kane said so. That's fair. Only a butcher has the right to cut flesh. So the thing is right now, guys, is he just told us that if we... No one would condemn me for killing bandits at night. I might even be rewarded. So th there are white-faced people that will attack other people on the street. You can kill them, and you can actually uh, loot them. So and nobody's going to say anything. So where has that last been? Covered in mud, tracked it all over the floor. And you know what? I never laid a finger on Fahad. There's a gleam of goodness in your eyes, my friend. Drink with me. All right. Everyone says. Twirine heightens the senses, but I think it's, it's only true of hearing. No vision. No, you won't see anything new. It isn't absent. No smells either. This place reeks of herbs as it is. Hearing, though, uh, it doesn't heighten your hearing. It just dampens all the other senses. Just drink, and you'll hear how the town sounds. You'll hear who's calling you and from where. you hear a murmur from afar, and perhaps from across the Gorkon. Or perhaps from the sticks itself. Drink to my health, friend. This is excellent twirine. There's no such thing as bad twirine. I can afford this kind of joy. So what do you do? I was once an architect, but now I'm just a shadow of an architect. Thanks for the drink, friend. My name is Peter. I am the rock upon which is built the stairway of to, to tomorrow, to the day when man lifts himself from the earth and overcomes its burden. I am that rock. I have already built the first step of that stairway, for I am a true architect. Yeah, I think you've had enough, Peter. He gave us two bottles of Twirine, guys. It's an herbal infusion. And drink to reveal places and events hidden from naked eyes. So. All right, let's go talk to this guy over here. He's a bartender. Your face is all blurry. Are you sick or something? 
Bountiful Harvest. Oh, I thought you were an herbalist here to sell herbs. You buy Twire? We're not just interested in Twire. Ash and Swish, Swivery, the White Whip are all, of course, more rare and more expensive. Herbs plentiful this year? Quite. The brides must have done a great job. You mean dancing? Sometimes when I go out into the step, I see dozens of them stepping or stepping around swaying. Beautiful, beautiful indeed. Well, we've only got two weeks until September ends. We're now in the golden time of harvest. We need to stock up for the whole year ahead. How much do you pay? It's different every day. Depending on what we're currently brewing, some herbs may cost tw twice sometimes. I see. I'll keep it in mind. All right, so they buy, they buy herbs here. And brown twire costs twice, twice as much today. All right, so... I actually, I have some black twire, but I'm going to hang on to it because I think I'm going to need it for later. But it's worth 50, 50 silver. So I'm not going to bother with it right now because I don't think anybody can, else, I don't think I can talk to anybody else because we got to head out. So we got to find a clock so we can save our game. But in the morning, oh, there it is. All right, guys, we're going to save our game here. I think that's going to do it. All right, so now we know how to where to get lock picks. We know where to sell herbs. We talked to Big Vlad, so we can so we can actually sleep at his house, so which is good because if you if you didn't know, you you can sleep at his house, which is cool. So anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you later. Bye bye.